Win Stuff. I'm your host, Erica Katchen, and we're here with some really great people from the Computer Science Department. You all excited? Yeah! Yeah, good. Yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself and just say some fun fact about you? Um, I'm Peter Wages. Um, I built my own computer. Wow, that's awesome. Um, I'm Diary Campbell. I'm from Oklahoma. <laughs> I'm Greg Bachelor, and my favorite hobby is playing disc golf. Ooh, that's awesome. Is that like frisbee? Frisbee? Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. that's awesome. I did that in like high school gym, but I, it was terrible. Anyway, um, are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. Right, so I'll just, ex I'll just explain it real quick. There's three rounds. The first round is music, movies, and TV, and it's kind of like Jeopardy. So I'm going to say um, like three titles, and then um, one of you gets to pick which title, but anyone can answer. Um, and then the second round is connections and one-liners. So that's like a quote from a movie and the connections would be um, two people that were in something together and that's double points. Um, so if you're failing in the first round, you could get back up on there. And then the final round is just with one person who competes for the final prize. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 All right, so since we didn't have a previous winner of the last question, um, we'll just go with Peter. Uh, do you want, when I met you in the summer, Enigma or by Degrassi by TVD. When I met you in the summer. Okay. What fellow artist is now dating Taylor Swift? Yes. Calvin Klein. I'm not. <laughs> Calvin, Klein. Okay. Cal Calvin Harris. Yeah, oh. good job. That was close. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> All right, Darby. Do you want um, Miss Independent, Enigma, or by Degrassi by TVD? Um, Miss Independent. Okay. What American Idol star was recently criticized for her weight? Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right. Do you want Twerk, Enigma, or By Degrassi, By TVD? Enigma. Okay. Benedict Cumberbatch attempts to break Nazi code in what? Intimidation game. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what is it? It's the intimidation. Wait. Intimidation or intimate? Oh, I know what it is. Yes. Imitation game? Yeah. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Close. Yeah. All right. Greg, do you want twerk if the shoe fits or by Degrassi by TVD? If the shoe fits. Okay. Which live action Disney princess film has grossed $400 million? Yes. Frozen? Nope. Cinderella. Yeah, good job. All right. Do you want twerk, spaceman, or by Degrassi, by TVD? Uh, by Degrassi, by TVD. What Vampire Diaries star is leaving after this season? Nina Dobre. Yeah, good job. Did you guys see her on Degrassi? I did. No, no you know what, Degrassi, <laughs> that was like my childhood, but I get it. Um, <laughs> all right, do you want twerk, spaceman, or are they alive? Twerk. Work. Okay. What former Disney music star is now dating Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, Patrick? Miley Cyrus. Yeah, good job. All right. Do you want Northeast, Spaceman, or They Alive? Um, they Alive. Okay. What new Netflix original show features John Hamm? Uh, the Incredible Kimmy Schmidt. Or The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get these questions out. All right. <laughs> Do you Bye. want Northeast, Spaceman, or Rachel Berry Takes a Bow? Uh, Rachel Berry Takes a Bow. Okay. What television show recently aired its series finale? Sorry, Glee. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a lot of TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So right now we have Peter with one, Darby with six, and Greg with one. But it's totally okay. It's anyone's game. <laughs> All right. Darby, do you want Northeast, Spaceman, or Plead the Fifth? Uh, Plead the Fifth. Okay. Which AMC original series just concluded its first season this past Monday? Mm, anyone? Think like, it's a, it's a prequel, I think? Yeah. Better Call Saul? Yeah, good job. Oh, I need to watch one of those. <laughs> <laughs> the one you didn't watch. No, I didn't know it was on. Who watches <laughs> AMC? <laughs> Uh, if Breaking Bad's not on there, <laughs> you need to watch it. Um, all right, Greg, do you want Northeast, Spaceman, or Blind Ambition? Spaceman. Okay. Eddie Redmayne stars as Stephen Hawking in what biographical film? The Theory of Everything. Yeah, good job. Did you see it? 
I did not. No. But I wanted to see it's it. It's new. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want Northeast, Team Up, or Blind Ambition? Uh, blind Ambition. Okay. Which superhero is receiving his own Netflix original series? It rhymes with snare level. <laughs> Yeah. Daredevil. Yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to explain that one because I definitely haven't watched it, but that's fine. Or it's coming. But all right. Do you want Northeast, Team Up, or Rebirth? Rebirth. Okay. What canceled NBC show featuring everyday people with superpowers will re be revived with a mini series? Uh, Heroes. Yeah. Do you know what it's called? Uh, it's like, like Heroes, Heroes Reborn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good job. All right. Do you want Northeast, Team Up, or I'm Starked for It? Uh, team Up. Okay. What highly anticipated Marvel sequel is set to be released this May? Uh, Captain America, Age of Ultron. Close. Think of like all of them together. Oh, the uh, new Avengers. Oh, yeah. Avengers, Age of Ultron. Yeah, Sorry. good job. <laughs> all right. Do you want Northeast, Return of the Saga, or I'm Starked for It? I'm starved for it. Okay, what critically acclaimed HBO series is making a return for its fourth season this month? Game of Thrones. Yeah, good job. Okay, do you want Northeast, Return of the Saga, or Upside Down? Northeast. Okay, what famous rapper recently settled a lawsuit with a paparazzi photographer he assaulted? Uh, Kanye West. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right, so so far we have Peter with four, Darby with nine, and Greg with two. All right, we'll do one more question before break. Are you ready? Do you want four or five seconds from swearing, return of the saga, or, oh, upside down. <laughs> Just pick one that I didn't say already. Uh, upside down. <laughs> okay. What upcoming Pixar movie is based on the idea that feelings have feelings? Think of the opposite of upside down. No, I'm sorry. Right side in. Inside out? Yeah, good yeah. job. I promise it looks like a good... Movie. It does. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, let's do one more question. Are you ready? Four or five seconds from swearing. Not the notebook or no scrubs? Not the notebook. Okay. What most recent Nicholas Sparks love story adapted to film hits the... the the yeah. longest ride. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to break, but we'll be right back. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. So, same time next week? Well, of course. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto-sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch it off when you're done. Headed out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees. 
and drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. Erica, and we're here with the lovely people from the computer science department, Peter, Darby, and Greg. How are you guys doing right now? Good. Pretty good. good. It was that. <laughs> it's just good. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> All right. Let's continue the first round. But right now, we'll just say the points. So we have Peter with four, Darby with ten, and Greg with three. But again, anyone's anyone's game. I promise. All right. Um, who do we leave off with? We left off with Greg. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> do you want four or five seconds from swearing? Return of the Saga or No Scrubs? Four or five seconds. Okay. What music star used profanity at her latest concert in order to share her opinion about the new legislation in Indiana? Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Good job. I really love that song. I was like saying five seconds. It's good. All right, do you want no scrubs, why not take a crazy chance, and re or Return of the Saga? Uh, Return of the Saga. Okay. What timeless sci-fi franchise will be getting a new installment this Christmas? Star Wars. Yeah. Are you guys excited? My Actually, mom's really excited. <laughs> to be honest, I've never seen it, and I feel really bad about it. My best friend like watched like all of them in like, one night. It was like crazy. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. What is this like new one about? Do we know? I'm not sure now. No. Star Wars, yay! <laughs> Lightsabers and like Luke Skywalker, yeah. right? That's a thing. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader. Isn't Darth Vader like in Toy Story, like that evil guy, Emperor Zerg? No? Wasn't he like based off? No? Okay. What is the I've never heard that. Maybe he was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have two more left. Do you want no scrubs or why not take a crazy chance? Uh, why not take a crazy chance? Okay. What Lizzie McGuire star just released her newest single, Sparks? Hilary Duff. Yeah. All right, so anyone, for an extra point, can you sing a song from the Lizzie McGuire movie? Uh, this is what dreams are made of. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, good. Anyone else? I'll give anyone an extra point that wants to sing it. Oh, the same song? Neither, any no, song, any neither song. Neither of you guys have seen Lizzie McGuire? Yeah, I was like, why not? No. <laughs> Come on, extra point, guys. I know this that one, important. but that's it. Sing it. Okay. Uh, this is what dreams are made of. Keep going. I don't know the rest. <laughs> okay, do you oh, want to sing the... Yeah. yeah, do you know it? Uh, hey now, hey now. Yeah, nice. That's about it, though. Hey Greg? Nope. No. <laughs> Greg doesn't want to sing. I mean, it's <laughs> an extra one point. It's exciting. <laughs> All right. So we have one more question left. We have no scrubs. What girl power band is reuniting after 10 years to tour and record an album together? Uh, TLC. No. Oh, okay. It rhymes with Schmessini's smiles. <laughs> yes. Destiny's Child. Yeah, good job. All right. Well, we'll be right back with round two. Stick around. <laughs> Separate raw meats from other foods by using different cutting boards. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. I've got a job to do today. I've got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator.
we're here with the computer science department majors people. Yeah, are you guys excited for round two? Definitely. Yeah. Greg, yeah. this seems so exciting. Greg, can we get you to scream? I can't wait to get this <laughs> next round started. All right, awesome. All right, so just, just a reminder of how this works. It's connections and one-liners. So connections are between two people that were in something together. And then a one-liner is a quote from a movie, a TV show, or a song. Um, and you have to say where that's from. You guys ready? Yeah. OK, so we'll start with Greg, because he's losing right now. Do you want a <laughs> connection or a one-liner? <laughs> One-liner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can't go to bed without a cup of tea. I could sing that for you if you really want me to. It's like, you can't go to bed without a cup of tea. And maybe that's it. Oh, um, yeah. One Direction, uh, Little Things. Yeah, good job. <laughs> OK. And just a reminder, the score right now is Peter with seven, Darby with 14, and Greg with four. But anyone's game because it's double points. Oh. All right. So, Peter, do you want a connection or a one-liner? One-liner. Okay. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's the show. Think like Amigos. Oh, friends. Yeah. <laughs> good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Darby, do you want a connection or a one-liner? I'm um, a connection. Okay. Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. Um, oh, breaking Bad. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Darby, do you want a connection or one liner? A uh, connection. Okay. Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway. Batman? No. 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 Um, I think like I think it's oh, space maybe. Schmitter Schmeller. Oh, interstellar. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> All right. Do you want a connection or a one-liner? Uh, one-liner. Okay. Um, I'm the king of the world! Uh, Titanic. Yeah, good job. Do you know what his name was? Uh, it was Jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jack Dawson, right? Yeah. Jack Dawson. That was yeah. good. <laughs> I can't watch the end of the Titanic because it just makes me too sad, so I like cut it off. <laughs> anyway. All right. Do you want a connection or a one-liner? Um, one-liner. Okay. I want to go all night longer. I want to uh, go all night longer. It's like at every party. I know. Ever. I don't know who's singing. And it's no. literally called All Night Longer. Okay, I'll give myself a point. It's called All Night Longer um, oh. by Sammy Adams. That's fine. I didn't know that either. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you want a connection or a one-liner? A uh, connection. Okay. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall. It's really great. Her name's Carrie Bradshaw. Uh, Sex in the City. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right, right now we have Darby with 24, Greg with 4, and Peter with 7. But double points, it's <laughs> fine. Okay, do you want a one-liner or a connection? Uh, one-liner. Okay. I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. Breaking Bad? Yeah, good job. Do you know what his name was? Uh, the main guy. Mr. White. Walter White, yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, do you want a connection or a one-liner? One-liner. Okay. You know, I was thinking, how many of you do I have to kill to save your lives? Think zombies. Or is it, yeah. Walking Dead? Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right, do you want a connection or a one-liner? Connection. Okay. Shailene Woodley and Theo James. Divergent or insurgent? Yeah, both. Oh, okay. Yeah, good job. Okay, do you want a connection or a one-liner? Connection. Okay. Emma Watson and Rupert Grint. Harry Potter? Yeah. Don't look at me like that, it's my favorite movie. <laughs> All right, <laughs> do you want a connection or a one-liner? Connection. Okay. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. Twilight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he is just wicked fast. All right. Connection or one-liner? Uh, one-liner. Okay. I'm going to say it's an accent. Please don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> if you had the chance to change your fate, would you? <laughs> if you had the chance to change your fate, would you? Ginger. She's a redhead. 
Oh. A uh, brave? Brave, yeah. Did you guys not like my accent? Oh my god. No. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it, I just couldn't think yeah, of it. Yeah, <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Alright, so we just have one more left. It's a connection. Alright. Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox. Transformers. Transformers, good job. Alright. So that was the end of our round, and Darby won, so she continues to the final round. <laughs> but because it's win stuff, we all get prizes. So since Peter came in second place, oh. do you want Smitty's or Subway? Smitty's, or er, sorry, Subway. Subway, sure. <laughs> yeah. fresh. Is that their title thing? Yeah. And you get Smitty's. Thank you. Are you excited? <laughs> Greg just has this like, he's just like, oh, I don't know, man, like, whatever. But do you guys have any uh, advice for Darby to continue to the final round? How many questions are there? Just one? It's, um, you'll find out, but just any <laughs> <Okay>. advice? <laughs> do good. Good luck. <laughs> Greg. I got last place. I have nothing to tell her. <laughs> she Greg obviously is knows better than humor. me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, but did you guys have fun? Yeah, it actually was yeah. a lot of fun. Was it fun? Are you yeah. excited for Subway? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm really excited for Subway. Not that I have a coupon there, but yeah. that's fine. <laughs> Are you excited for Smitty's? Of course I am. Yeah, all wait. right, all right. We'll be right back with Darby in the final round. Stick around. All right, I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Get caught buzz driving and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Cook foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Hey, welcome back to Wit Stuff. We're here with Darby in the final round. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So I'll just explain this to you. So it's going to be vampire or not. So I'm going to say a vampire or not, and you're going to say whether or not it is. <laughs> um, and then it's going to be HBO or Showtime, so you're going to say which um, like company the show's from. Okay. <laughs> right, so, and you have to get 15 right to win your final prize. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> vampire or not, Edward Cullen. Yeah, vampire. Yeah. Harry Styles. No. <laughs> Damon Salvatore. No. Yes, yeah. so that's okay. Dracula. Vampire, yeah. yeah. Jacob Black. No, werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Buffy. Uh, no, she's the Slayer. Go <laughs> Louise de Pont de Loc. Du Loc. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Allie Bennett. No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Bunnicula. Bun Bunnicula. Bunnicula. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> All right, HBO or Showtime. <laughs> Boardwalk Empire. HBO. Okay. The Borges. Uh, Showtime. Good. Sopranos. Oh, HBO. Good. Dexter. HBO. Oh, no, Showtime. That's okay. <laughs> Masters of Sex. Showtime. Good. Band of Brothers. HBO. Good. 
Um, Game of Thrones. HBO. <laughs> True, de True Detective. HBO. Good. Homeland. HBO. No, that's okay. Oh. <laughs> Veep. HBO. Good. You win. <laughs> so you're gonna take home the dark knight. Awesome. So exciting. <laughs> it's Batman. So great. So let's <laughs> invite our friends back on. Come back. Come back. All right. Let's chat for a bit. Why are y'all smiling? <laughs> no? All right. So what's some things about your major that you just really enjoy or want to chat about? It's a lot of fun um, when you finish your program. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun to see the end result. Yeah, yeah, awesome. That's the best part. So what do you guys exactly do? Because I know not a lot of people like know about computer science. Um, well, like we mostly like code yeah. with like loops. Like there's like if loops which are exactly they sound like you literally write like if into the program or and then they're like if it's not that then you just write like else and it's like code like coding like that like i don't know it's hard to describe <laughs> I, that sounds no, awesome like but you like <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like hard to describe yeah. greg anything um, my favorite part about computer science is working with partners yeah. Yeah. so you have someone to bounce your ideas off of because a lot of times with coding you'll really get stuck yeah and you look at it for hours and you never see the problem, but when you have someone to work with, you can bounce ideas off them and they can see what you're missing yeah. and they can help you along the way. That's awesome, that's so cool. What's your favorite thing you've coded? For me, um, doing a brick breaker for computer science one. Oh, that's one. so cool. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I guess the same for me too, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't really, like, I haven't done anything that exciting that I like <laughs> yeah. so far. What's like the worst thing you've coded? Uh, uh, well, last week, Peter and I were up for 12 hours coding this, like, our homework, which was, like, it's, like, you ha like, you type in, like, the user types in, like, their location with latitude and longitude, and you have to find, like, 30 places nearest them, and it was... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's, like, really cool, though, but I'm sure it's really hard yeah. and stuff. That was Peter, is that, was that... Yeah, that same? was definitely yeah. the hardest one so right. far. Yeah, the last homework. I'm in their <laughs> class. Oh, uh, really? It was pretty tough. Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. So, what made you guys want to be computer science majors? Well, for me, um, there's a lot of jobs for. Um, there's a hundred percent job placement for computer science majors. Wow. Yeah, that's and awesome. If you can bear it and it's not completely <laughs> painful yeah. to do it, you I mean, it's try such. It. It's like a really hard thing to yeah. to know. So that's like mm -hmm. really awesome and be good for jobs. I'm going to be like on my feet and like working in a diner or something. <laughs> I'm a like, TV production <laughs> major. Maybe I'll be on set. Um, what do you want to do? Um, uh, I'd like to work for a company like Google and maybe um, work in their like experimental department. Google's so cool. Yeah. Like yeah. the Google headquarters? Um, well, I, yeah, I'd be open to working at their headquarters or really any of the place. Yeah, <laughs> any of the yeah, Googles. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you yeah. have any idea? Um, well, I want to eventually like start my own company, but I don't really have an idea for that yet. So I'm probably just gonna have to work for some other company at first. Yeah, that would be really awesome. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Did you guys have fun? I hope you had fun. It was yeah. A lot of fun, right? I hope it wasn't a little too weird for you guys. <laughs> yeah. That was great. All right. Well, um, enjoy all your fun prizes and stuff. And. Um, that's it for today, but happy Wednesday and have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.